गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम अगेन बैक विथ द मार्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्लावरिंग प्लांट पार्ट फाइव ऑफ एलेवन स्टैंडर्ड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इनफ्लोरेस एंड टाइप्स ऑफ इनफ्लोरेस सो लेट इस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इनफ्लोरेस इनफ्लोरेस इज द अरेजमेंट ऑफ फ्लावर्स ऑन द फ्लोरल एक्सिस मीन्स हाउ फ्लावर्स आर अरेज इट इज ऑफ मेजर टू टाइप्स रेसिमोज एंड साइमोज बट देर आर सम स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ इन्फ्लोरेस ऑल्सो फर्दर रेसिमोज साइमोज एंड स्पेशल टाइप्स ऑफ इन्फ्लोरेस आर डिवाइडेड इन टू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज डिफरेंट टाइप्स सो फर्स्ट वी विल मेक इट क्लियर अबाउट द डिफरेंसेज इट इन बिटवीन दैम इन रेसिमोज इन्फ्लोरेस द मेन एक्सेस कंटिन्यूज टू ग्रो एंड फ्लावर्स आर बॉर्न लैटरली इन एक्रोपेटल सक्सेसन एक्रोपेटल सक्सेसन मीन्स ओल्डर फ्लावर आर एट बेस एंड यंगर फ्लावर्स आर एट टॉप इन साइमोज द मेन एक्सेस टर्मिनेट्स इन टू अ फ्लावर सो द फ्लोरल एक्सेस इज लिमिटेड इन ग्रोथ एंड द फ्लावर्स आर बॉर्न ऑन द फ्लोरल एक्सेस इन बेसिपेटल ऑर्डर मीन्स ओल्डर फ्लावर्स एट टॉप एंड यंगर फ्लावर्स एट बॉटम जस्ट अपोजिट टू द रेसिमोज टाइप special type of inflorescence do not fall in both these categories that is why they are considered as special type of inflorescence now we will discuss in detail about the different types of inflorescence first it is about types of racemose inflorescence racemose inflorescence may be simple or compound let us discuss one by one simple racemose inflorescence is a type of inflorescence in which the peduncle is unbranched and it is of following type first is raceme in which there is a common elongated axis and flowers are stalked and they are arranged in acropetal succession for example it is seen in mustard and radish in the given figure you may observe the raceme type of simple inflorescence now another simple racemose type of inflorescence is a spike in this case peduncle is elongated but flowers are sessile and arranged in acropetal succession for example it is seen in acranthus amaranthus callistemon that is bottle brush third simple racemose inflorescence is cat catkin in this case spike hangs downwards like pendulum and consists of a small unisexual sessile flower and it is commonly seen in morus alba that is mulberry in this given figure you can observe the differences between a spike and catkin you can see here how the floral axis is hanged downward next uh, simple inflorescence racemose inflorescence is a spadix it is a spike with thick and fleshy axis which is covered by one or more large bract called as spath for example in maize female inflorescence banana and colocasia and another type of racemose simple racemose inflorescence is corim corim is a modified raceme in which peduncle is relatively short in this case the lower flower have much elongated pedicel than upper ones in such a way that all the flowers come to the same level commonly seen in candy tuft that is iberis amara in the given figure you may observe spadix as well as corim inflorescence next is umbel it is also a modified uh, raceme in which all the flowers are nearly equal length of pedicels and they arises from the same point this is the difference between umbel and corim here also bract is present at the base of the flower it is seen in brahmi last simple racemose inflorescence is head or capitulum it is also a modified raceme in which the main axis is flattened called receptacle that bears 
numerous small sessile flowers called florets the florets are arranged in centripetal manner and it is observed in sunflower and mary gold in the given figure you may observe umbel inflorescence of brahmi and capitulum inflorescence of sunflower now we will discuss about compound racemose inflorescence the difference between simple racemose and compound racemose is that in case of compound racemose inflorescence the peduncle is branched whereas in case of simple racemose the peduncle is unbranched this is the main difference it is also of different types first is panicle also called as compound raceme in which uh, axis is branched and flowers are arranged in acropetal succession on lateral branches as it is seen, seen in uh, gold mohar that is delonyx and cassia fistula in the given figure you can observe the panicle or compound raceme of gold mohar you can observe here the lateral branching with flowers in acropetal succession next compound racemose inflorescence is compound spike it is a typical spike inflorescence in which floral axis is branched and sessile flowers are present in acropetal succession on lateral branches also for example this type is seen in grasses another compound inflorescence is compound aspadix it is a kind of spadix in which the axis is branched and it is commonly seen in coconut in the given figure it is about compound spike and compound spadix now we will discuss about compound corym so again it is a modified corym in which the axis is branched and each branch bears a corym like inflorescence for example in cauliflower and next is about compound umbel which is the floral axis having branching and the branch appears to arise from a point each branch bears an umbel and they are called as umbelule here also the covering of bract is present at the base of the branches and also at the base of the flowers of umbelule and it is commonly seen in coriander here you may observe compound corym and compound umbel next is about compound capitulum in this case the main axis of capitulum inflorescence is branched and several capitula are present with the same covering of bracts for example it is seen in echinatus that is gokuru now we will move toward cymose inflorescence here the main axis always terminate into a flower and further growth takes place by formation of lateral branches and this lateral branches always arise below the terminal flower so that is why older flower are at top and younger flower at the bottom further lateral branches also terminates into a flower here the arrangement of flower in basi petal or centrifugal succession it means outer or basal flowers are younger and central or upper flowers are old now let us discuss about the types of cymose inflorescence it is of three different types uniparous or monocasial cyme which is further divided into a scorpoid and helicoid biparous or dicasial cyme and multiparous or polycasial cyme so here we will discuss one by one first is about uniparous cyme or monocasial cyme in this case the main axis terminates into a flower and single lateral branch arises below the terminal flower that pushes the lateral branches to a side again lateral branch terminates in a flower and single lateral branch arises below and this process is repeated several times 
this type of inflorescence is divided into two types a scorpoid and helicoid so let us see what is the difference between a scorpoid and helicoid in a scorpoid monocacial shime the successive lateral branches arise is alternately on both the side forming a zigzag like pattern it is commonly observed in ranunculus bulbosus and tecoma in the given figure you can observe the scorpoid inflorescence next is about helicoid inflorescence in this case successive lateral branches develops on one side only and it forms a unilateral spiral coil like structure and it is seen in begonia in the given figure you may observe the pattern of helicoid sign next type of cymos inflorescence is biparous or dicacial sign here also the main axis terminates into a flower and a pair of lateral branches arise below the terminal flower further lateral branches also terminates in a flower and this process is re repeated several times common example is seen in dianthus and jasmine in the given figure you can observe the dicacial cyme of dianthus and jasmine now another cymos inflorescence is multiparous or polycacial cyme in this case also the main axis terminates into a flower and more than two lateral branches arises from the base of the terminal flower and again this process is repeated and it is seen in calotropis here you can observe the multiparous cyme of cali calotropis in the given figure you can compare all the type of cymos inflorescence that is monocacial cyme having a scorpoid and helicoid bicacial uh, bi or biparous cyme and multiparous or polycacial cyme now it is about special type of inflorescence it is of three type that is hypanthodium cythium and verticillaster one by one we will discuss here first is about hypanthodium in this case the main axis get condensed into a cup or flask shaped fleshy receptacle having a small apical opening and that small opening is called as ostiole and the cavity of hypanthodium contains three types of flower male flower female flower and neutral flower also and this neutral flower is also called as gall flower the male flower is present near the opening female flower is present at the basal part and neutral flower is present in the middle part of the hypanthodium the flowers are insect pollinated for example it is seen in ficus species in the given figure you can observe hypanthodium of ficus and three different types of flower female flower gall flower and male flower another special type of inflorescence is cythium it is much condensed and look like a single bisexual flower in this case there is single uh, terminal female flower which is highly reduced and uh, represented by single pistil but it is inserted and hangs down due to elongated pedicel the female flower is surrounded by many male flowers that are arranged centrifugally each male flower is represented by single stamen having long pedicel and it is seen in euphorbia pulchirema here you can see the cythium inflorescence you, you can see here how the female flower is hang down last type of a special inflorescence is verticillaster and it is present in labiate family and commonly you can see in osimum sanctum that is tulsi it is a condensed head formed by the union of cymos inflorescence into the axil of two opposite leaves or bract at the node in this case the flowers are sessile zygomorphic and bilabiate 
and that forms a cluster or verticel that is falls holes round the stem the two opposite clusters together called as verticillaster here the given figure represents the verticillaster inflorescence in tulsi plant so student this is all about today's session thank you for any kind of doubt please write your question in comment section